Hi everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. Today I'm going to be doing an experimental cooking video using the Insta360 ONE X. I'm going to be making a dish called potatoes and peas with chicken, Greek style chicken. I'll have a look down here, we can have a look at the ingredients for today's recipe. We have some fingerling potatoes, I've just washed them and I poked them with a fork. I have four cloves of garlic, minced. One and a half cups of frozen peas. I've got some one package of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs, they make really delicious, um, flavorful dishes. I've got one half teaspoon of rosemary, dried rosemary. One teaspoon of dried oregano. Some kosher salt and a pepper, a pepper grinder. One lemon. And I've got two containers each of two tablespoons of olive oil uh, and I've got uh, about a two cups of chicken broth. So let's get started. First going to take a large bowl and we'll dump in our chicken. So I'll open up the package. Up in the chicken. You want to season the chicken with salt and pepper, so I'll take some salt. Use the eighth of teaspoon one and just shake on some salt. Take the pepper grinder and grind on some pepper. I'll mix in two tablespoons of olive oil onto the chicken. Very nice. I'll add my garlic as well. My rosemary and my oregano. That's the oregano. Here's the rosemary. And I'll give this a stir to mix together the olive oil with the chicken so that the chicken is fully covered by all the garlic and the herbs and spices. I'm just going to cover this with a lid and I'm going to pop it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes just to marinate. Okay, that's been 30 minutes so the chicken is now marinated really nicely. I'm going to turn on the instant pot, saute mode on high heat. If you look down here you can see that there's a, a button here for saute and if you push the button it will change into more so we want it on more. The instant pot beeps so that means it's going to be heating up. We'll add the olive oil while it's heating up the remaining two tablespoons of olive oil. You can feel that it's starting to get hot in the Instant Pot. When the Instant Pot is hot, the screen here will actually say hot. So it takes a few minutes and it will start heating up until it says hot. Alright, that oil is starting to shimmer and it's getting hot. You can kind of see it's shimmering when you move the oil around. So I'll add the chicken to the pot. We're going to let that sear for five minutes. Alright, so the chicken is almost done. It, I just kept it on the one side, so it's only searing one side. That will bring out the flavor and kind of brown that side. The other side is not cooked yet, but we will cook it later with the potatoes and it will get cooked all the way through later. The recipe says not to move the chicken once you put it down. That way it will have a better sear or browning on the bottom. You can see that the oil is really bubbling rapidly. So I'm going to turn off the saute mode and I'm going to take the chicken and remove it. 
put it on a plate. I'm going to scrape the bottom of the Instant Pot to get rid of all the stuff that's stuck on the bottom. I'm going to pour in the broth. Continue scraping the bottom of the pot. So now everything is scraped off the bottom. I'm going to add in a wire chip. This is important to keep the potatoes from burning on the bottom. Just put it right in. And I'll dump in my potatoes on top. There's a nice layer of potatoes. Take my chicken and layer it on top. So I want to put the side that I had cooked on the bottom face up. Dump in any remaining chicken juices on top. And scrape the rest of the garlic into the mixture. And any of the rest of the marinade also, I will take that and scrape it into the pot. You can add a bit more salt and pepper at this point. I'm going to just add mostly pepper because I've already put quite a bit of salt. Let me put a bit more pepper. And what the heck, I'll put a little bit of salt too. Great. So you want to take the Instant Pot, make sure that your sealing ring is in place. And put the lid on. Set the dial to seal. And on the control panel, hit pressure cook and set it at high pressure for seven minutes. And turn off the keep warm setting. So now the Instant Pot will begin its cooking cycle. I'll briefly describe what's gonna happen. So right now the Instant Pot will start heating up the bottom of the pot. The broth that we added will start turning to steam. The steam will build up pressure inside the pot and then this little valve on top will rise to the, rise to the top when a certain amount of steam is in the pot. After that point, it will take another 5 or 10 minutes before the pot reaches its full cooking pressure and temperature. And then once it reaches that pressure, it will beep and it will start counting down from the time that we set, which was 7 minutes. After 7 minutes are up, we're going to let it beep and say it's done. And we'll wait for 10 minutes with the pot just as it is for the pressure to release naturally for 10 minutes. And then we'll release the rest of the pressure quickly, called the quick release, using the Instant Pot dial. Alright, so about two minutes ago, the Instant Pot beeped because the valve had risen to the top. And you can see that it's now reached, full, reached the full pressure inside the pot. It's started counting down from seven minutes, now it says five minutes. In five minutes, we will just let it beep to let us know it's done, and then we'll set a timer for ten minutes to allow the pressure to release naturally. So what I'll actually do is because we got five minutes there and I got ten minutes there, I'll set the kitchen timer for fifteen minutes. Because we turned off the keep warm setting, now the instant pot is actually off. And you, it's safe to unplug it at this point, so I'll do that. And I can also remove the cord so it's free of a cord. The thing about the instant pot is one major thing to watch out for is once it's fully pressurized, you want to make sure it doesn't fall off the counter. Because it, if it hits the ground while it's fully pressurized, that's the case where it still may explode. The Instant Pot has a lot of safety features um, that are quite safe to use if you just keep it on the counter. Um, but if it falls on the ground, then all bets are off, then the safety feature may not work. I've washed these tongs because they were touching the cooked meat. 
but I'm gonna use them to take out the chicken. So here's the moment of truth. Open the instant pot away from your face because a blast of steam comes out. As you can see, give it a little shake so it doesn't drip hot boiling liquid onto your feet. And you can move this over to the kitchen sink. And then this chicken is looking amazing, so I'll just take the pieces of chicken with the tongs, put them into, I can put them right into this container. The nice thing about these fingerling potatoes is that you don't have to peel them. They have a really nice uh, thin skin. I'm going to grab the, the trivet here and remove it. Just pull that out and I'll pop it in the plate out, have it on the side. And these potatoes are cooked, cooked, have a nice broth. I'm going to mix in the frozen peas. And I'll just give it a bit of a stir so the peas will defrost in the nice broth we have here. I'll make a little close-up video of the chicken and peas. Mm. So this is the peas and the potatoes. And the chicken. Very nice. So next I'll serve the dish onto a little serving plate so you can kind of see the presentation. I think I'll choose lots of different kinds of bowls and plates here. I think I'll choose a One of my favorite bowls. This one is very nice. Take a slotted spoon and grab some potatoes and peas. Put them in your bowl. If you want, you can include some of the broth too, but I'm just gonna Keep them without the broth for now. I'll take a piece of chicken and put it on top. Now you can add some fresh herbs if you have some, or you can add some, a squeeze of lemon juice. I, I'm going to save my lemon for tomorrow when I'm going to eat the rest of this dish. So, now like I like to do in all my videos, I like to do a little taste test. So let me just give this a try. It's very hot, so you got to be careful. Mmm. Chicken is really flavorful, all those herbs really bring out the flavor of the chicken. The potato is, is is cooked. Mm. Mm. Really good flavor. Because the potatoes cook in the chicken juices, you get a really lovely flavor. Well, that's your cooking video for today. I hope you like the new format. This is kind of experimental to cook using a camera on a baseball cap. Um, I'll include a photo here. You can kind of see what it looks like when I was filming this. Definitely a very interesting way to cook and a way to film a cooking video. If you like this kind of format or if you have any suggestions, please leave your comments below. My name is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. 
and I'm from Vancouver, BC, Canada. I'm really interested in virtual reality, filmmaking and music, and as well as cooking. Definitely enjoy cooking using the Instant Pot, the programmable electric pressure cooker, which is available on Amazon, and it's a very handy kitchen utility. It allows you to cook with less energy and really good high pressure flavors. So for more videos from me, please click the subscribe button below and hope to see you again soon. Please leave your comments, like the video and subscribe. Hope to see you next time and uh, take care for now. Bye bye. Mm. This is really tasty. If you make it at home, let me know. I'm curious how it turned out for you. Mm. Wow. To add some hot sauce if you like like it spicy. But this is just perfect. Lovely.